This is not an effective chest exercise at all. No. It works. Do your abs whenever you can do your abs. What's going on everybody? My name is Coach Chris. This is a YouTube channel where I teach you everything that you need to know about health, fitness, a little bit of mindset, get your mind right, get your body right, start becoming the best version of yourself. You can watch my YouTube channel and then you can make sure for yourself that I am the best health and fitness coach in the world because I am going to be giving you free information that you can then take, apply, and become your best self. And when you do, just make sure you come back and you drop a comment. But you're not gonna be able to become your best self if you don't like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button to know when I send out a new video because I'm gonna be sending them out often and you're gonna be learning often. You're gonna be applying them and then becoming your best self. Let's get straight into today's YouTube video. This is going to be a little bit different than what I do typically and it's gonna be a reaction video. It's gonna be a response video. I'm gonna take you through some of the TikToks that I get sent to my inbox on a regular basis. I just picked a few of them out. I get a lot of them. And I'm gonna tell you if I agree or if I disagree with the health and fitness advice because this is the reason that I started this job in the first place. I started this job in the first place because of all the BS. So much bullshit being spread to people why? Because people don't know what the hell they're talking about here than possible, potentially, and they will be the resource for you, so you follow them. Maybe they want to sell you on a product that's worth nothing, and, and they put some value to it because apparently it worked for them, which it doesn't ever work for them. Or maybe they think they know, and they don't know, and you believe that they know because they look good, but the chances are, you know, they look good because they're freaking 18 years old, and they, and they have a fast metabolism, and they're able to eat ice cream and still have some abs. I'm here today to dispel some of the stuff that you might see on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever the heck it is. I wanna see it myself, I wanna to react to it, and then I wanna tell you whether I agree, whether I disagree, and the reasons why, or maybe where it applies or where it doesn't apply. So I just took some of these video clips. I'm gonna go through them with you guys. I'm gonna react and then Let's see if you can apply them yourself, okay? So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. We are going to watch it together and then I'm gonna tell you what I think, all right? Okay, this better go viral, I swear to God. If you want abs, abs. but you can't get rid of that pouch or the- Get rid of that pouch, a little kangaroo. You can't get rid of it. This is my miracle trick I've been doing since high school. Okay, pause real quick. She's been doing this since high school, which leads me to believe that she probably never had a pouch to begin with. Think about this stuff as you're listening to these people, okay? Did they actually have the pouch and get rid of the pouch? Or did they never just have the pouch, right? I'm not taking away from what she's gonna say because I don't know what she's gonna say, but think about it, logically. Let's keep my going. My trainer about this and she swears by it like it's a miracle idea. One more thing. Ask her trainer about this. We don't know who her trainer is, so that means freaking as much as uh, listening to a potato. I don't know who her trainer is. There's millions of trainers out there and there's tons of shitty ones too. So you know how you go to the gym. You do your workouts, you do your abs. It's usually in the morning, middle of the day, whatever it is. You're doing it wrong. Guys, do your abs before bed. For eight hours when you sleep, you don't drink, you don't eat, meaning your stomach does not expand. So those muscles you just worked on, work 10 times better than when you usually just eat right after a workout. It works, I swear to God. Okay, okay, okay. If you have abs, you have abs. They're underneath that layer of fat and that layer of water that's covering them up. So go on a diet to expose your abs. What she's saying here is do them before bed. Do your abs whenever you can do your abs, okay? If you're gonna train abs, train abs whenever you can train your abs. Your abs are just like any other muscle. If you want them to grow, you actually have to do some crunches, some sit-ups, but you have to do some weight too. So maybe some cable crunches or something like that. Like all muscles, you gotta fracture it and then make it grow back bigger. And you only do that by overloading it with stress okay now what she's saying is do them before bed it's gonna work better I'd say I disagree with that she's saying that it's because you you don't use your abs they're not getting pushed or pulled in any direction what she's referring to is that you're you're not bloated or you don't have a belly or a distended gut at all because you don't have food in there so it's gonna make the ab exercise more effective and your gut is gonna stay tight 
What I would recommend that you do instead of doing your ab exercises is I would recommend that you practice some stomach vacuums. If you don't know what it is, you can look it up on YouTube or maybe I'll make a video on it. First of all, this isn't gonna take away any freaking pouch. That's all in the diet. That's fat, okay? And you gotta get rid of it. Unfortunately, your body doesn't let you decide on when it goes away either. You have to diet until it's gone. You don't get to do crunches, enough crunches to make it go away. It doesn't work like that. It's all in your diet, okay? So this is gonna do nothing for your pouch. Your diet is. What she's saying, I think, is it keeps your stomach flat because she doesn't have the bloat. She doesn't have the distended gut. This one, it's already a bust, okay? We're just gonna skip through that one. I can tell you right now, this gal never had a, a beer belly to get rid of anyway, so she did it since high school, okay? Is she actually somebody that's coming with a true testimonial um, and some good anecdotal evidence, and typically that's not the evidence you want anyway. You want some like science-backed research, um, not just some gal who's always been fit and her trainer who we know nothing about. So. This one, I agree with. Always preaching the sugar-free jello. 10 calories, that's it, game on. The popcorn, skinny pop, it's all right. Smart pop is a better option by Orville Redenbacher because you get more volume for less calories. But both not bad options, okay? He also shows berries, yes, absolutely. Not only did he show berries, but he showed raspberries. Very, very rich in fiber. And you're gonna need that fiber because it takes a long time to break down. It's gonna help your body digest everything well, process, everything's gonna flow nice. It satisfies the sweet tooth, right? A little bit. Good stuff, good stuff, I like it. Oh, a high protein yogurt, yeah, all day long. Uh, kudos to you, Andy, we're gonna say that is a good video, okay? Next video, let's do it. Wow, impressive. Cinnamon, lemon juice, I've seen this before. We're not even gonna watch the rest of it, okay? Cinnamon has some anti-inflammatory characteristics to it. Lemon juice has some acid in it that helps with stomach acid production in, in very minor, minuscule amounts. This right here, this right here. What's gonna help with your bloating is if you drink the freaking water. If you wanna flavor the water with cinnamon and lemon juice, go for it. I've seen this with cinnamon, lemon juice, honey, all that stuff. You're adding calories with the honey. Don't add calories with the honey. Like, just drink the water. That's what's going to help you. That's what's going to help you. You got to drink the water and you're going to be better. Uh, you're going to process your food better. The bloating will go down. And then not eating foods that make you bloat. Like if you have too many cruciferous vegetables, you're gonna bloat and it's gonna be a problem and it's gonna suck and you're gonna fart a little bit. <laughs> she has an amazing transformation, right? She went from big to little. Like you're gonna wanna believe what she says because she did something amazing, right? Kudos to her for doing that. But the cinnamon lemon trick was not the thing. She was in a caloric deficit, she worked her ass off and that's what got her there. Just because someone has an amazing transformation, that doesn't mean you gotta buy into whatever the hell they're they're telling you, right? A lot of these times, these people had a coach, like Coach Chris, that walked them through the process. Do they fully understand the process? No, they just followed the rules, right? Do you know everything that was on the test that you took? No, but you knew enough to get you through. She may or may not know quite a bit, but this right here shows me, you know, maybe she doesn't know as much as she, she should to be giving some sort of inf informational video. Maybe she does, and that was just one of many videos that, you know, maybe all the rest of her videos were pretty good. An amazing transformation on her part, but you don't always listen to a, uh, a solid transformation um, and let that be your evidence. King, King, here's an easy chest exercise. You can do it to enhance those chest gains. Don't sleep on this exercise. It's super easy and you can do it anywhere. All you gotta do is get your palms, put them together like this, and press as hard as you can. Go for four sets of 20 reps. And then after the four sets, you wanna go side to side a total of 20 times to finish it off. If you wanna know how I got shredded without any cardio, check the link in bio. But we don't wanna know that. <laughs> That's pretty impressive though. Okay, dude's stacked. He's a freaking house, right? A lot of people are gonna wanna listen to this dude because he's super jacked, right? And very lean, and the dude's been on a diet since he started dieting, apparently. This is not an effective chest works exercise at all. From your home, no, okay? 
I'll tell you what this is good for. What he's doing here, this is not an exercise that you should be using to build your chest. You can use this, however, if you just hit a heavy set on your chest. You can do this with your biceps too. You can do this with any part of your body really, but an isometric hold, like the, like the exercise that you just saw, you could do that after you just finished a hard, heavy weighted exercise to drive more blood into the muscle, which is gonna help get nutrients in the muscle, which is gonna help with the pump, which is gonna help with the expansion of the muscle. You don't do that as your primary exercise. Instead of doing that, do push-ups, okay? Lift 150, 180, 220 pounds. That's way more effective than pushing your freaking hands together. <laughs> That's not doing anything for you, I'm sorry. And like I said, it will if you if you do your push-ups and then you do that, you'll have a better time. But that that, that alone, uh, moving back and forth, like, yeah, whatever, dude. The guy looks sick, okay? He looks sick. And there is a purpose for that particular movement, but to help build your chest, if you're gonna rely on that to have a bigger chest, you are gonna be having a freaking pancake chest for the rest of your life, okay? So just do push-ups instead, and then do those after if you wanna, you know, do some extra cool shit. And then he said, do you wanna know how he got shredded without doing any cardio? He was on a really good diet for a really long time. I can tell you right now, that's what it's all about. Or he went on walks periodically or whatever, right? Like he didn't have to do cardio, but he had to diet down enough to where the cardio didn't matter anymore with that few calories. Um, I'd recommend just do the cardio. It's not painful, you just walk. If you don't know about cardio, you could go to my video on walking and why it's super important for you and why it's the best form of cardio, so. If you thought that was helpful, send me some more videos. Go to at Chris Zizzo, spelled with a K, and that's my Instagram handle. You can send me more videos there, you can do the same. I probably won't see it on TikTok, but I will see it on Instagram if you send me more videos and I can analyze them and see how well. Or even better, put them in the comments below if you want me to see what it's all about in this YouTube video, okay? Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, put some notifications on, that way you know when I'm coming out with another video. And do not listen to everything that you hear just because someone has a good look. Make sure that you know they're credible. How do you know that I'm credible? I have stayed consistent on social media for the past eight freaking years, not missing a day, giving you good quality information, being as is subjective or objective about everything is possible. Always admitting when I'm wrong, even if I don't immediately admit when I'm wrong, I come back and I say I was wrong and then I change it up. And you know, I'm not wrong a whole lot because I do a lot of studying. I read like crazy and I make sure I do this stuff for all of you to better yourself. So turn the like button on or hit the like button, subscribe, notifications, all that good stuff. Send me some more videos and stay tuned because I'm gonna do a lot more that I think you guys are really gonna love. So after this, uh, I gotta go somewhere. That's why I look like this right now. What do you guys think of my outfit? I got a new freaking haircut. Hey, how about it? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.